Plano, meanwhile, is the latest North Texas city to step into the debate over short-term rentals. City Council plans to discuss options on regulation at tonight's meeting after a recent police raid on a rented home. Investigators say was being used as a brothel. Our Caroline Vandegrift talked to homeowners who plan to make their voices heard. This is not good for Plano. Dozens of homeowners are coming together to fight short-term rentals. It is a revolving door of strangers and transients. After seeing houses in their neighborhood turn into listings on sites like Airbnb and Verbo. Next to my home in Plano where there is no tourism, how, how does this how is this happening? The Plano, Texas Neighborhood Coalition says it shouldn't be. They want the city to enforce the zoning laws that keep hotels and businesses out of residential areas. We believe this is uh, within our rights to have the reasonable regulations enforced to prohibit the operation of a hotel in our, in our neighborhood. Their efforts took on more urgency after a police raid at a rented home in Plano late last month. Investigators say it was being used as part of a sex trafficking ring. It tells you that criminal activity can be conducted right next door without you being aware of that. Airbnb says the majority of hosts on its platform are responsible neighbors who use short-term rentals as a way to supplement their income. The platform has also banned all parties and events from its listings. Airbnb says it does support reasonable regulations that address the community concerns, but that also preserve the benefits of short-term rentals. The formula for success is coming together and understanding what makes sense for our city. Plano City Council will hear from an outside attorney tonight about what the city's options are when it comes to regulation and enforcement. Residents will also get a chance to voice their opinions and concerns. In Plano, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.